Okay, ready? Right. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. <laughs> All right, part two of our Acuva water purifier saga. Mm -hmm. The other night we were anchored out behind Gun Key and we ran into Sailing Kelpie. If you haven't checked those guys out, do so. They're pretty chill. And uh, Robert gave me one of these. So underneath our sink, you'll recall I have everything zip tied together because we have 15 millimeter lines and the adapter that Acuva supplies is half inch. This is a 15 millimeter T. Now I just need a way to reduce this end here to 3 8 So I need a 15 millimeter to 3 8 And uh, I'm ready to install it properly and maybe even remove the zip ties. <gasps> Thank you, Robert. Very cool. Robert and Lauren on Sailing Kelpie, check them out. All right, that shouldn't go anywhere. So there's a fitting that goes into the end of the hose right here, and that'll go up into the bottom of the of the tap. And you screw it into place with this nut. And there is currently lots of room to do that now. All right, I got the thread started. I'll need a wrench to snug that up with. And there you can see how the bottom goes together. Now normally, this line would go through an adapter and tie in here. However, sorry, down here. However, because we're using another filter to remineralize the water after it comes out of the Acuva filter, we have another filter to install here. Okay, so like I said, the line would come from, or out of the filter and up to the tap directly. The problem with the Acuva style filter, Acuva, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, the problem with that style of filter is that it makes the water so pure that there are no minerals and it's no longer healthy for you. So what we've done is we've picked up this filter to remineralize the water and make it healthy for us again. And this whole system is the one that we got off of the WINS website, so we're giving them... I have a question. Yes? Did that filter come with the, the stuff that we ordered from Acuva, or did you have to buy that separately? This filter came from Amazon. Oh. The Amazon machine brought it. <laughs> so, uh, again, on the wind site, we saw the Acuva system, and we've been pa patrons of theirs. We've followed them for years. They're a big part of the reason we're out here doing this. Thanks, Nikki. It's a good thing you're on the other side of the planet. Um, <laughs> but, they recommended remineralizing the water after filtering it, and I agree. Water that's too pure is not healthy. So we're gonna put this filter on. The problem with this filter, in their ultimate genius, they sent us these amazing brackets to hold it in place. Mm. The problem with these amazing brackets is, what's that supposed to wrap around? Mm. We have a flat surface, a wall, if you will, to attach these to. So we looked and looked and looked, and we could not find brackets that would fit 
onto this filter. So we're going to do, use the next best thing. We're gonna use Velcro. What I'm gonna do is cut two or three strips of this, tie it to the filter, and, and uh, screw it to the wall. Would anybody like to guess who came up with that idea? Lisa's genius strikes again. <laughs> genius. Tails so. on fire. I'm a genius. From now on, you'll have to refer to me as Sid, Lord of the Flame. Hey, Lord of the Flame. Your tail's on fire. After I searched an entire Lowe's and an entire Home Depot looking for the proper uh, adapter for this, Lisa came up with the Velcro idea. Mm -hmm. And here we are. So we're going to install this next. Then we're going to tie all the lines together with all these neat little filters and clips. And the reason this has to be done with Velcro or some kind of removable strap instead of just plumber strapping it to the wall is this will have to be replaced as it wears. So they don't last forever. And we wanted to be able to get it in and out of there easily. How, how do you tell if it's um, used up? What, what is there directions on there that say on how it's used up? How do you know? Improves alkalinity of uh, low pH water Adds healthy mineral irons, ions back, leak-free connection. <laughs> Leave that when I see it. I don't <laughs> know, so we'll have to do some research on that and uh, find out. So Lisa, you have a new project. Oh, okay. All right, let's do this. So the screw is going to go through the hole I just made, in theory, and into the wall. The problem is that screw head is going to be rubbing against this very plastic filter. So in order to reduce some of the damage from that, I've cut some smaller pieces of Velcro and we're just going to stick them on over top. is not as easy to do with one hand as you might think especially with my left hand which doesn't work very well to start with if you're doing a boat project and the position you're in doesn't cause any pain you're not doing it right that should plug in there we'll take another line from here run it through the reducer and back and forth from there. Sorry, in is gonna be from here to here, out is gonna be from here to here, then it's gonna to go to here, and then it's that's up to the tap. And that's all there is to it. So let's cut some lines. All right, now we have to fit the hoses. So this line here comes from the tap. So it's gonna go in here, output of this filter. We're going to come from this filter the uh, pre-filter to the input on the purifier from the output of the purifier to the alkaline alkaline alkali remineral to the other filter and that'll go up to the top this will have to go through an adapter because this comes off as a different size Acuva does supply the adapter for that so everything should be fine remember to count your fingers before and after each cut
connection's hooked up now. Next step is our power connection, which we have run to here, but it's not tied in at the panel. So we're gonna tie in that. We're gonna turn it all on and uh, see if we can flood the camera out. My question is, is do you have a certain amount of water that you have to run through that filter in order to make sure it's clean? Yes. Filter? Yeah, we're gonna run it for a couple of minutes. Okay. Once we have it uh, powered up. Once we have power, I'll tie up the wires. Right now, we're going to test out and see if the uh, if it leaks. Three, two, one. No, well, nothing's catastrophically failed yet. No, we do have a leak here. All right, we've retightened all the fittings. Water test number two. Can we drown the camera? Go. It's on. It's on? It's on. It can't possibly be on. There isn't water spraying everywhere. Would you like me to turn it off and turn it back on again? No, it's fine. Let's check the bottom fittings. I just messed up my light. Well, everything's wet, but nothing appears to be actually leaking. So we're going to tie in power and uh, tuck everything away nice nice, see if we can't cause another leak. Alright, so now that we have no leaks, it's time to uh, make fire. Right here is for the uh, water pressure pump. So I'm going to tie this to the water pressure line so that when the water pressure is on, the water filter is also on. Count your fingers before and after each cut. This is not a great way to do this. Great way to nick the wire you're trying to strip. This is a fused board, so as well as breakers, the breakers are also fused. And the meter's timed out. I did not build this circuit board. This is not my creation. I would not have done this like this, but I gotta work with what I got. For now, let's see if we've got working water. All right, water purifier test, here we go. When the blue light is on, the water is pure. I'm calling this a success. Let's move on to the next one. And the next project is going to be the water maker, the Spectra water maker. We have a Spectra water maker and it's a perfectly good water maker. It looks very new. I have no idea how to operate it and uh, I've been trying to get a hold of the guy who installed it who was supposed to come aboard and walk us through how to operate it and that never happened and so now I guess I'm gonna have to figure it out for myself. Hope I can unpickle it and operate it without screwing up a ridiculously expensive Spectra membrane. If any of you have any tips or tricks with the Spectra please let us know in the comments below because we could use the help. Thank you.